Hey, 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 I am back with another amazing um, show with Co Talks with Coach Nikki Ziegler. And of course, we're on this pandemic tour. We've been on it for the last week and we have been meeting some extraordinary people that's doing some amazing things in our community. And of course, I'm a fan of authors because I'm that, I'm an author. And I love meeting people who are really fulfilling the dreams. And so this particular um, book tour, we're talking to some people who decided to step out on faith and launch their book during the, the worst time ever, and that's the pandemic. And so I guess, you know, we had a lot of time on our hands. And so I want to definitely bring in Arthur Miyoshi to our uh, platform. Welcome to the platform. How are you doing, Miss Gordon? I'm doing wonderful, Coach Nikki. How are you? I am doing great. I love your painting in the background. It's so beautiful. Thank you. What 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 is that painting about? What made you get that painting? Well, I had my home interior design, so I left that to the interior uh, decorator. <laughs> <laughs> so that ain't your forte. You just you just I like just the, the. I just go to the showroom and I say I want this and I want this and I want this, and it, it just happened. And she just blended everything together. She's outstanding. Okay. What? Well, you want to give her a shout out? You never know. Yeah. Uh, her name is uh, Denise Keon, and uh, she's an amazing lady at, at uh, interior designing. Okay. Uh, My daughter has a passion for interior design, so hopefully she'll get a little grab of what, what your design is doing. So that's yeah. good. So yeah. I see a lot of people are jumping on, guys. Don't forget to do the watch party for us. Don't lurk around. Come on in and speak to us. Yeah. Let's talk. With this, this beautiful lady got going on with her new book so do a watch party share this live with us this is going to be an amazing book conversation because i know she has a, a great book that's coming out so let's talk about this book what's the name of the book my name of my book is broken but still a masterpiece wow what made you name it that i didn't name it that god named it that so, come on now I, i'm telling right, you that's, that's what happened <laughs> um, I have a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and it's called Unite to Divine Purpose. And we did a major private pro uh, uh, project in COVID-19. Uh, so once it went down, I had time on my hands, and that's the time I had to intimacy with God. I always told my family and my siblings, which we are a vast family, uh, there was a total of 10 of us still alive and well. Whoa. Three have had, two have passed away. And so um, with that being said, I prayed about it. And two weeks later, God came to me in the middle of the night. It was about 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning. It just mm -hmm. was broken, but still a masterpiece. And he said, glass on the back. And I knew then that was my confirmation. So I called uh, the publisher the next day. And her name is uh, it's by Butterfly Typeface Publishing, Miss Iris Williams. And we connect. And she even asked me, where did you get that title from? I said, God. So I can't take credit. God is the one that helped me write the book in 30 days. Uh, 30 days. 30 days. I wrote the book. I've never been a writer. I, well, let's say this here. I, didn't, I wanted to write. I always write a book, but I never had the time. So I prayed about it and God just, it's like the floodgates open. I just kept, I mean, I typed, I had to take a pace, you know, uh, I paced myself. And so I ended up typing 53,449 words in 30 days. 53,000 in 30 days? 53,449. Can we see the book? The book, yeah, the book is uh, 330 pages. Wow. Do you have a copy of the book? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And so the, there it is. Wow. Broken, but you're still a masterpiece. So, yeah. of course, you told me, let me, let me join you in, join in on this. Of course, you told me that, um, you know, God named the book. But who has been your inspiration? Or who has really pushed you to get this done? I have to say my family. <laughs> Uh, there's a vast uh, majority of us. I have to say I have a vast family. And um, the support of inspiration and friends and 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 definitely, I would say, the, the my soul and heart mm -hmm. is my son, my only child. He's 35 years old. Okay. And um, 
he has we have a bond because I raised him as a single parent um, when he was nine years old up into 18 years old. Okay. And then he went to college and then he went over to serve overseas. He's not in the military, but his job took him there in Iraq mm -hmm. and Afghanistan. But it's amazing how God does. Last August, God gave me my son back mm. and had a good job sitting right down here in Orlando. And he didn't tell me until my birthday of last year. Oh, man, I bet you were so overjoyed. I bet you oh, were like, oh, my God. Overjoyed. I had to get up and step out, uh, shout a little bit in the Capitol Grill. You better shout. <laughs> That's how you know God ain't playing. He he will manifest stuff all over. Oh my God. Yes, I'm so can. excited for you. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. But I want to talk about this book. So what 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 will you tell someone who really, really uh would like to read a book? What kind of advice could you give them? Um, I would say pray about it first. Mm -hmm. And then I would say, um, and God will give you the answer. And, and as my writer, as my publisher told me, she said, first of all, she asked me, I said, she asked me first. She said, when do you want the book? I said, I want the book in 30 days. Okay. Said, Are you diligent enough to write a book? I said, well, if God say I am, I am. That's right. And so I did. But what I give advice to people is believe in themselves. If they believe they can, they can achieve it. That's right. Even if it being as my publisher told me, start writing with one, two, three pages a day. Wow. I started writing chapter one. It was like three pages chapter. You know, you, you continue uh, to uh, increase in pages. And my last chapter on the day it was due, I typed 27 pages in that day. Wow, 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 wow. You want to give a shout out to some people on YouTube is watching Lyric. I see you on there. Too. Now see. I see Emma. Good, good evening. Emma, Emma say so true. And you know what? God will give you the um, desires of your heart. And he will give you strength to do whatever you desire to do if it's his will. The that problem, most people, they want to, you know, of course, you know, I'm, I'm always going to testify about how good God is. Right. You know, it's all about making sure we follow the will of God and making sure he is priority. And you can do anything but fail. So I do believe that. But that's a lot of typing. That's a lot of writing. I know your brain was fried after that. I know. You know, <laughs> believe it or not, I've already started on my second book. Okay. But you know, it's it's like once you once you do it, and you know you have the ability, and you know God is behind you because God's at the forefront of my life. Because that's right. Not been, I wouldn't survive. I have a um, myositis, which is a in chronic, incurable, invisible disease. Nobody will ever think it. Um, I'm a breast cancer survivor, 14 years, and I'm an emotional abuse victim. So wow. out of all that, my organization is circled around that mission. And also, I always used to ask God, why? Like, why me? Why me? Right. Uh, but I don't ask that anymore. I have my answer. He said, mm. I'm a voice for the voice list because I'm his soldier. If I really believe in God and I'm being bold enough to be a, a, on the field for him, Mm -hmm. And in church for him, why well, would not be out like that in public for him? That's right. That's so, right. I believe in word, it. I stand on his word. I stand on his word today and forever. Because mm -hmm. I would not be in front of you, Coach Nikki, talking today. That's right. I, I had God in my life. I'll tell you one thing. When you sent me over your picture to do your fly, I said, this is a jazzy lady right here. <laughs> this is beautiful. Now, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I'm that bling girl. As you can see, I love a good bling. But when I saw that dress, I said, oh, she is jazzy. She is, beautiful. <laughs> she is beautiful. So, you know, I told Barbara, I said, we got a jazzy flag up. She looks yes, yes. amazing. <laughs> the bling, I told Barbara, I said, pull, pull that bling out. Let that bling hit. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I said, she my type of lady, yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, that I have to say, I give out my parents and I got my my grandparents and my great grandparents because they always loved to dress and we always went to church dressed up. Wow. And at this day, I, you know what? I still dress, even though I, like the church, some of them, my tent is dressed down, but it's just the nature of me of dressing up. It's in your DNA. That's all. Yeah, it makes me feel good. As a, it makes me feel good on the inside, not the outside interior. I'm just saying, and from the inside out, it just makes me feel good. Wow. So let's talk about this book. So tell me more about the book. 
Well, the book is to enlighten people, uh, no matter what they go through, with faith, determination, and perseverance. Because we're going to always have trials and tribulations in our life, no matter what. I mean, even like now, I'm 62 years old. Ah! Yep, I am. And so no matter what, we're still going to have those. But during that time with God, I have a closer walk with God. Not that God wasn't in my life, but now he's more so in my life. I I Mm -hmm. can tell you how I always uh, just take more meditation time just for myself with God in the morning, noon, at night. Uh, People don't always see that within me because I'm kind of a quiet person. I always kind of sit in the background. I'm not always out front. Um, My dad and mom always taught us just kind of to be still and uh, know that God's going to work it out for us. So I'm going to kind of be still and know that I am God. It's one of my favorite scriptures. Yes. Um, I do know that when God gave me the title of my book, it's so true because it's an ecclesiastic, but we are God's masterpiece. Come on now. So I know that book I did not name that book. It was God. The name that book. That book is yeah by God. And so living with with the, what I have encountered in my life, I tell people um, the challenges may come, but our inner strength and our faith will take us through. I'm the kind of person I let mm-hmm. go and let God. And when I do, that's when God gave me my answer that I'm going to be the voice for the voiceless because I'm bold enough to do that. Wow. Um, I'm bold enough to be out there for Christ. I mm. know I'm going to have naysayers. I know I wrote my memoir. I even said that uh, some may be against my tell-all book, but see, that's not my problem. See, God gave me this. That's and right. so I stand on that, on that, his word, that if that's what he wants me to do, by all means, that's what I'm going to do. So and, you have all your, I see your family's on here. Emma Carpenter, she said, that's, yeah, that's, my, sister. that's my sister. And, um, and then Bobby Gordon, um, Gordon Lilly. That's my sister. <laughs> this is sister too? Okay, y'all, y'all running deep up in here. So while y'all watching us, come on now. Let's go ahead and do a watch party and go ahead and share this on your family. She said, oh, yes, yeah, sissy. Won't he do it? Okay, I see you, Miss Yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> but, you know, one part of this, what I want to drive home is Coach Nick is about mental health. Yes. Mental health is so important to me. Because I have gone to the psychologist doing uh, my first marriage was a cocaine addict. Um, he yeah. is now the best person that he could ever be right now in his life because he went to get treatment. Yes. But if you don't get treatment, you would never come out of what that you're. It's like you're in denial. And so what I tell people is, and I'm going to say it, black Americans are the most challenging people to get to mental health. A psychologist, psychiatrist, or whatever they need. They know that God is there. We all know that, but that's why God gave us all talent to reach mm-hmm. out there and let those persons help us and seek that type of help. And I know without me having the psychologist help, I wouldn't be here. I would say mind, body, and soul connected. That's I right. Be living my authentic self like I live now. And believe me, I used to have a mask over my face. Oh, God. I don't anymore. I am the yeah. smile now that's real. That's right. And you're free. Yeah, I'm free. I am and free. It's amazing. Yes, I am. God has freed me. And when I wrote that book, I released everything inside of me and I am free living my authentic life. Wow. I am so proud of you. So where can we get this book? Uh, it's right now. It's on Amazon. Uh, the soft cover is up. They're uploading a hardcover. The hardback, excuse me. The hardback is uploading now. It's there, but it's hidden because I got to I gotta review it first. So um, as soon as they, I review it, it should be into me very shortly. And thereafter, they'll be a bit harder to hard back. So my goal was to, with the publisher, to have my soft copy, mm-hmm. my hard copy available December 2020, which it will be. And then thereafter, it'll be on audio and ebook. Uh, it's right now, it's on Amazon. And you can go to any bookstore and they get it for you. Uh, okay. book, they can order it for you or uh, Barnes & Noble's. But right now, to get it faster, like prime time, is uh, Amazon. Okay, prime time. I did, well, I did a virtual book signing. I, that look, I didn't know it was gonna be that overwhelming, but I got, I received like two hundred and fifty pre-orders. And by the way, 
I did have a bookmark made just like my book. Oh, look at you. Very ordered. Very beautiful. And that was complimentary when you ordered my pre-order. And not only that, if they could not get a pre-order in time because I knew of the Christmas uh, delay and whatever, right. then I still send that book that bookmark to them complimentary. Okay. I see your family are so supportive. It is so good. They are, so good. Yeah, they are very supportive. <laughs> That is so good. Well, I'm so happy to have you on this show. Um, I do have one more question. So you asked my question about what makes you roll to end the pandemic. Because I'll me listening to you, and I'm just gonna recap. I could tell that all praises go to God. It yes. was all God doing. This whole book belongs back to God. So you're giving that book back to God because he told you to write it. So we thank God for you answering those questions that I had because it's so it's ho it's so hard to get you know, distracted. It's easy to be distracted. So for me to listen to your testimony and for you to tell me, hey, Coach Nick, I sat there and worked for 30 days, I think that's just amazing. It's amazing. I'm happy that you did what God told you to do. So you know, when you be when you are living in his will and doing what he said, you know you're gonna always be blessed. Amen. It's so important to be in the will of God. So yes. Yes. Is there anything else you want to say? Do you have any any people you want to give a shout out to? Because this is going on YouTube. Yeah, like, I, 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 I forever. I, I, get, I get a shout out to my family, um, my inspirational friends, my circle of friends. I give a shout out to everyone who has uh, purchased my book for the love and support they've given me. I give a, a shout out to my church families um, because my church family is this hometown here in, uh, in Orlando, Florida. And so, what church do you go to? Right. Currently, I go to Macedonia and I also go to Faith, Faith Assembly of God. Okay. Miss so, Karen said, awesome book. It's a page turner. She, that, look, that's my ride or die part. That's my ride or die friend. That's my. <laughs> she, she read that book in a, a day and a half. That, that, now, them the kind of friends you need. <laughs> I mean, and I'm going to be honest, some friend better than family. <laughs> <laughs> She's been with me since the eighth grade. <laughs> wow, that's a long time. And you're 62? Yes, I'm 62. And she's been out with you. Wow. My husband is, is oh, my husband's 62. <laughs> my husband is 62. Yeah, now, and I, I want to give a shout out to uh, my my son. My son is, uh, he. I, I can't explain him to anyone, but uh, one of the next books coming up is going to be about him. That's right. And so I want to inspire young black men that they can do good in life. And he, my son has far exceeded my expectations in life. Mm, that's good. Yeah, far that's exceeded. Good. I could not ask for a better child in my life. No. Wow. But so um, I wanted to tell you, they can find me at uh, social media. Facebook is author Miles Gordon. Instagram is author Miles Gordon. Okay. Uh, at Are you Twitter. Twitter? Twitter is at Gordon Maoshi, but you also can put in that author Maoshi Gordon, but it's my handle is at Gordon Maoshi. And then our website is Unite to Divine Purpose. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you so much for this amazing interview. If you ever need me, let me know. I will. I'm always available to talk. I'm here for you and I believe in you. And I'm just, I'm excited about all the things God is doing. So my next question is, what is next for you? What is 2020 looking like? Do you have a plan? <laughs> it's so overwhelming now. Uh, I have so many things going on. Yeah. I, I have interviews. Uh, there's going to be two great things coming up uh, very shortly. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a surprise to everyone. Okay. Um, it's very bright, I say. It's very bright that I didn't even know that God would take me to a place that I didn't know. What they always say, when the windows of heaven open up, he pour his blessings down. It's like when we think we're going through those tough times, it's at the end that there's always highly favor over your life, which is always been. It's just that sometimes you didn't believe that, but the higher power always know what he's doing, and that is God. That's right. That is God. We're walking in his light. Wow. All right. Well, thank you so much for being a part of this tour. It's a pleasure. Um, and thank you. Whenever you get, yes, and whenever you get a moment, if you could plug your stuff on this on this live here, and it will showcase so people can know where they can go and buy your, your book at. I would love for you to do that. You can share this this live as many times as you need to. Okay. This is yours. You know, this is YouTube, so you're always welcome to share it. And okay. this is on seven different platforms right now. 
So we're on YouTube Live right now. We're on Instagram Live right now. We're on Periscope. We're on Facebook. We're on my fan page. Oh my we're okay. right now live. So um, I'm excited. I am excited. Thank you so much, Miss Bobby. You look, I just look, I'm a hat girl. I love a hat now. I'm a hat. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting your sister and supporting my in my show. So we're excited to have her here. So if you ever need me off the board, I'm available. Just I'm, I'm only a phone caller, but you got my personal number. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, you know what? And I have it in my phone. It's locked in. <laughs> yes, 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 it is. So you take right. care well, and you have an amazing night. And look, have a wonderful, ha happy holiday. Merry Christmas and a very Merry happy, happy New Year to you and your Thank family. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a pleasant author. She look, she got it going on. How about that? So, guys, don't forget to go and support her. She is on Instagram, Twitter. She's on Facebook. I mean, she's everywhere, you guys. Go get a copy of her memoir. I know it's going to be life-changing for you. You know, I can't wait to see the two surprises that she got for y'all. You got to go and support this woman of God. She is a, and she has such poise. She has, and when I'm telling you guys, when I saw the picture, I said, okay, Barbara got to kill this fly, and she did it. So go and support her. Share this lie. Let her, you know, love is an action word. Let her know how much you mean to her by sharing this show so people can get more information about what she got going on. Thank you so much. This wraps up today. Until tomorrow, have an amazing night. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Enjoy your holidays. And don't forget to love one another because God is love. Thank you for joining my tour.